Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Blossom Tales The Sleeping King. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Why am I fighting a lawn gnome? Why is there a lawn gnome here? I don't get it. Apparently the uh, earthquake attack is not that great against mushrooms. Boomerang is still really good though. Okay, I still gotta make it over to that lift. I think it should be over here. Because I believe that's northwest of the castle? Hmm, what's this? This looks like another race. Can I cheat the system just by blowing up the rocks? Yes, I can get it over the fence. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. Or maybe all this stuff will reset when the race starts. Or maybe this is not even a race at all. Maybe there's just a random bunch of obstacles. No, this is definitely a race. Hi. Reach a chest before the timer runs out and its contents are yours. Ten coins? Okay. So as you can see here, I pretty much just have to... No, I didn't, I didn't want to do that twice. Okay, good thing I have the upgrade that doesn't slow me down when I'm near water. Ah, I got knocked down by the arrow. It was going so well. There, just blow it up yourself. I think they all go in the same pattern. Uh oh. I may not make it. I did make it! Yay! It's another heart piece. Okay, so that's two races I just won. Now remember, it said on Steam that there were like, what, three? So I'm pretty much like. Only a third remaining, which is not bad. Did I ever go this way? Or is there a reason for me to? Doesn't look like there is, other than just clear out those rocks. Oh, there's another thing over here. Yay, another uh, puzzle, I guess. Wait a minute. Uh, I do not know what the combination is. Maybe the answer is somewhere around here? Maybe there are some clues on this screen. I have no idea. Oh, okay, purple mushrooms seem a little bit harder to kill. I will keep that in mind. Hmm. I don't see anything out of the ordinary that would tell me what the combination is. At least not in this place. Maybe it's over on this side. Oh god, bees. Bzz, bzz. Lily could hear the sound of bees up ahead. I hate bees! One time a bee... Shh! Tell us about when you got stung on your bottom later. <laughs> What happens if I just destroy all these hives? That would get people really mad at me, because we need the bees. Gotta save the bees. I do need some honeycombs, though. Do I get the honeycombs just from the... Oh, just the honeycombs from the hives or from the bees themselves? It looks like I get it from the uh, hives. So, yeah. If you want some honeycombs, gotta destroy these colonies. 
Oh, there's another hole over here. Do you think that'll have some connection with the other hole? It's a good thing Lily is not allergic to bees in this game. That would be a terrible time, for sure. Okay, time to start digging. You know what, I'll put the shovel on X. Yay! A healing potion! To make up for the ones that I spent by accident. Ah, damn it. Fine, I'll get rid of this colony too. God, there's an awful lot of them. Yep. Uh, I hope this guy won't get mad at me for what I'm about to do. Oh, jeez. My bee's been acting crazy ever since the king's brother passed by here. Now they're too aggressive for me to harvest their delicious honey. Help me collect their honey, and there will be a reward in it for you. I'll just kill some butterflies while you're at it. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to kill all the bees. I think I got things taken care of. As far as I know, there are no more bees. There's lots of money. A lot of places to dig. Another resurrection flower! Oh, happy days! Pretty sure I'm missing a hive somewhere. Yay! Lots of money. Oh man, look how much I have! 660. Are there are hives down here? Eliminated them all. Maybe I should talk to the guy now. Because I don't see any more hives. You win this round, Mr. Butterfly. Okay, that's that's the actual item collection. Oh, I see some ice over there. So I guess I'm not that far from where I need to go. I might as well just go down this way to uh, clear up this path. So I think I'm on the other side of where that gate was. Now there's a whole new area altogether. But then again, I think I still need to go down. Oh god. My farm! My farm! Oh, Nilly. My farm! It's overrun by mushrooms! You got to help me, Sir Knight! Please, if I don't get rid of these dang mushrooms, old Pa's gonna throw a fit when he gets back! My lavender paw actually is one of the mushrooms. That would be a very shiitake way to go. <laughs> Alright. The boomerang just makes quick work of them. It's pretty much your best weapon against mushrooms. You know, your little wisdom for the day. When it comes to mushrooms, just use a boomerang. So that will only be an issue in Australia. Boomerangs are a great way to bounce back. <laughs> in many ways. Alright, we good now? I'll just destroy your crops. Take your money. Thanks for cleaning my farm. Here's a resurrection flower. Come back anytime you're out, and I'll give you another. You know, you could have just left things alone, have your paw kill you, and then you just use the resurrection flower to come back. You know, when he's not looking. <laughs> there you go. So you just wasted time. Oh, now your paw's really gonna kill ya. All your money's gone. Yeehaw! Y'all wouldn't believe the junk people want these days. No matter where I wander off to, I'm always picking up what I find. Feathers, honeycombs, heck, even nasty zombie brains. Whenever I find a lot of the same thing, there's always someone in that area willing to trade for them. A few more coins, and I'll finally have enough to settle down. Maybe get myself a farm near the castle. Life is good. <laughs> Yeah, too bad zombie brains are not very common. 
Alright, I think the switch is over here. I think I just gotta go down one more. There we go. Okay, now we can just get there from the other side. That'll make life a little bit more convenient for us. Too bad the lift is not over here. You just gotta go a little bit further. Okay, so I guess if I run out of resurrection flowers, I can go back and see him. I don't think that'll be necessary. Yeah, that's a crack. Let me go deal with that. Yay. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Oh, I already have the bow active. Wait, I have a time limit? Oh. Okay. Wait. Ah, yeah, it's not gonna go far enough that I can actually just do that. Wait a minute, I got an idea. I'm gonna back away as far as I can go, and then when I'm between them... There we go! That's how you do it. But man, it was just barely. I pressed the wrong button. That's another heart piece, are you serious? I would have rather just another energy crystal, to be honest with ya. Except if I can get that meter a little bit bigger, I can use my stuff more often. But alas, it's not working out in my favor for that front. Okay, these birds can really F off. How large is this map? <laughs> it's crazy. Or at least I see more ice. So it looks like I'm near the area that I need to go to. Oh, but there's a hole here, too. Oh, God! Um... I'm gonna try to wing it to the best of my abilities. I think I know where I want to end it. Like so... Oh, oh, we solved it. Yeah! That was actually pretty easy! Another scroll! The lift that takes you to Snowfall Summit is northwest of the kingdom. King Orchid had it built for the queen a few years before she passed. Her majesty was from the small village up there, and loved going back to feel the cold wind in her long red hair. The lift goes very high and fast. Uh-oh. I almost puked a roasted bat I ate just thinking about it. I have never eaten bat before. Then again, I can't many, think of many places that would serve it. Especially in Canada. So anyway, let's just continue on here. The lift is probably over this way. Alright, well, those birds still suck. I mean, anything that I miss, I mean, I can always just go back for later. I'm probably not gonna focus on it too much. Oh, that's a crack over there. Never mind. Just my imagination. Oh, the boomerang is great for cutting grass, too. I never realized that. Yeah, it's starting to snow here, so this must be the lift. The Disciples of the Rose had kept their word. The lift to Snowfall Summit was lowered. I hope she doesn't catch a cold up there! Oh, 
Okay, it seems reasonably safe. Hmm, is this Pinecone Village? So I need to find this James guy. Must be nearby, though. Okay, we're up there, good. So, where's our destination? Oh, just two screens up. Cool. Hi, you have red hair. Red-haired villagers walked the snowy ground of Pinecone Village as the smell of hot cocoa filled the air. Oh god, they all have red hair. You should come back later during our annual hot cocoa festival. No, I'll, I'll stay here now. Gallery? What kind of gallery? Shooting gallery? Hello. Care to try my archery game? You can win fancy prizes. All five arrows must hit a target to win. You know what? Okay. Ah, damn. As soon as you miss once, dang. That is some great shooting. Here is your prize. Oh, that was a heart piece. Well, I didn't hit the bullseye, but that's okay. Okay, you slip on an ice. I figured. First an endless blizzard, and now zombies? Winter thaw, here I come. Winter thaw? Is that another town? I can't believe King Orchid was betrayed by his brother. Yes, gossip even travels up here. Good. This is not hot cocoa, it's just a bunch of feathers. Another resurrection flower and a green potion. Mushroom soup in stock? No thanks. I have plenty already. Okay, so at least I know where the shop is. Let me... Yeah, destroy Frosty. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. Dr. Zombez. <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, what do you want? Why am I so angry? I was once a respected scientist for my research on the effects of magic on the dead. My goal was to discover a vaccine that would prevent necromancers from using bodies for evil. But then, the king's brother accused me of trying to raise an undead army. I was banished from the kingdom and forced to set up shop in this winter wasteland. I feel like I continue my research. I'm very low on test subjects and collecting zombie brains is dangerous work. Do you like fighting zombies? I'll reward you each time you bring me 20 brains. Oh, God. The scoundrel! How dare he steal my magic running shoes! After all the trouble I went to steal them from Sage the Mage. Curse you, Karma! My dreams of owning the fastest mushroom soup delivery service are over. But the joke's on him. I had a cobbler resize them to fit my small but manly feet. When he realizes this, he'll probably just give them away as a prize for one of his dumb races. I'd go after him up to Snowfall Summit, but just the thought of walking at normal speeds makes me tired. Uh... So I gotta find like 20 zombie brains. And how many do I have? Two. <laughs> so I'm a little off. The Council of the North. On the west side of town. Hi. I'm saving up for a tropical getaway where I don't have to wear fur for a change. Ice Orchid? That only grows in the temple to the north. There are natural hot springs to the east of our town. They're amazing. What's wrong, you ask? I guess I can't hide it very well. My mother is sick, and we fear it may be too late. The only thing that can save her now is a health potion, but we don't have enough money to buy one. Yeah, I'll give you one. Thank you so much, young knight. To show you how grateful I am, please accept this special gift. Yay, now I'm even healthier than your mother. Can I follow you to the hot springs? I'm scared to go alone. Oh, you won't go with me? Okay. I can't believe King Orchid was betrayed by his brother. Okay, you already said that. You castle folks must be pretty worried about King Orchid. But hey, 
At least he ain't coming alive to eat your brains. Wow. You guys really do have a zombie problem. Everyone says I have a death wish for wanting to travel to the Monk Temple. It's not my fault I'm crazy about adventure. Um, uh, kinda is. Let's see. Once I reach the hot springs, they said to go north to where some hermit guy lives. From there, I should eventually find the temple if I keep going east. Let's do this, okay. Well, at least she gave me directions. There, now you have one less place to sit on. Alright, where's this James fella? Are you... is that you? The zombies won't stop until whoever offended the temple spirits is punished! Oh, okay. I've tried to beat the archery game so many times, but I just can't do it! I think there's something wrong with me. Yeah, there is. Another scroll, really? I had a lovely stay at Pinecone Village. Even though it's very cold, the people always have a big smile on their face. My next stop is Frostroot Shrine. They say you have to cross a giant snowy cemetery to get there. Should be no problem with some tasty hot cocoa to keep my buns from freezing. And if they do, I'll take a dip in the hot springs along the way. You guys are here. Okay, is this a chapel? I think that's the chapel. But I can't talk to them for some reason. Okay, that's not the way to go. Is there more to this village than where i just been? I mean, there'd have to be. Hi, another minstrel. Oh, Bard. How anyone can live in this cold is beyond me! Sure, sing me a song. Over the graves and through the woods, to Frostroot Shrine we go. The monks came today to show us the way through white and drifted snow. Over the graves and through the woods, oh how the wind does blow. It stings the toes and bites the nose, as up the mountain we go. Boo. James, are you in here? You came at a bad time. The frozen bodies of the monks who used to live in the temple are coming back to life. Actually, it's a bad time for them. You know what's weird? People without red hair. Wow. You know what's weird? You guys don't have heart peace anymore. That's what you get for insulting me. Okay, there's still another house here. Are you the person? A letter? Hmm? What? There's a delay in my delivery because of mushroom season? Darn it! By this time, I thought I'd already be soaking my red-haired body in my own private hot tub. Ah, well. Don't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? Your dirty little secret? Are you liking, uh, soup so much? <laughs> North lies the graveyard, and beyond is certain death. I'll probably, uh, get the other letter from the post office guy later. Nothing beyond that way. Let's check out the graveyard. Hi. Those foolish monks! Because of the holy spiritual presence they left behind, I can't enter their temple and destroy all the ice orchids inside. I will use their frozen corpses to make sure no one dares go near their temple. That includes you, recruit! Come forth, my ice legion! Mwahahaha! <laughs> the wizard's necromantic spell raised the dead to greet the young knight. Oh god, that's a lot of zombros. Hmm. Maybe this will be good against zombies. Yeah, it is. Oh god, it's really good. It just crumbles them in an instant. Hmm. Can I enter these other doors? What if I blow up the gravestones? That doesn't really do much. 
Can I go in here? Blow up the door? Doesn't work. Okay. So I guess we just have to keep going. Maybe there's another way to get in here. It's gonna be a while before we figure out what to do here. Oh, this cemetery is larger than I thought. Please give me some brains. I need it. Oh, for some reason the earthquake cannot destroy snowballs. Are this guy's here again? Okay, where do the archaeologists go? Hey, friend! Oh, I got the achievement, too! There's not much to look at here besides the Monk Temple. However, I heard from a reliable source that there's buried treasure in one of these graves. But every time I disturb the dirt, I get attacked by the undead. I'm more than annoyed than terrified. Can you defend me, young knight? I'll even share some of the treasure. I dig while you chop him to bits. Got it? Well, at least I'll get some more, um, zombie brains that way. Whoa! Whoa! You got a little too close for comfort. Oh, God. The magic was running low. to dig so much anyway you should know better and like pick your spot more properly oh god you almost walked right into a zombie just where it's about to spawn that would have been cheap please Okay, we got enough brains for the doctor. Oh man, there's so many of them. Whoa! One just spawned right under me. Why were you walking toward a zombie? Go around them! What is wrong with you? You're worse than Colorado from Paper Mario, for crying out loud. I found the gold! Thank you so much for helping me. As promised, your half. Okay, was that worth it? I don't know. But regardless, I'm just gonna dig here. Was this the treasure he was looking for? Th there's gotta be something else around here. Like, let me check the big graves. Can I drag one of them? No. I guess I'll have to blow them up. Can I? Hmm. No, I don't think I can do anything about them. There is a path over here. Hi. Skeletons are appearing here, too. Alright, let me get rid of the shovel. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm a lot of zombies here. And skeletons. You know what's funny? I kill a whole bunch of skeletons, but not once have I seen a skull. Like, one guy's been looking for a skull for a while. Actually, two guys are looking for skulls. And I can't get a single one to drop. Oh man, I gotta go really far to the right. Lily felt a strange warm air hit her cold cheeks. Nearby were the famed hot springs of the frozen north. Yay. Um... What else is here? Can I 
go left? Oh. Okay, I guess I can't just jump down at all. Maybe there's another way. Ah, this stuff fully heals you. How convenient. These hot springs warm my old bones and make me feel like a young man again. But you're not. Deal with it. My child is very sick back in the kingdom. These waters are my last hope. Can I deliver them? I guess not. Okay. Hi. I was sent to collect the healing waters of these natural hot springs. We can find our monastery south of here. Oh, I should go check that out then. Bathing suit? What's a bathing suit? I'm walking away from you forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> Is this the other race? Hmm. I don't know if I should attempt it until maybe... Ah, whoa. That archer looks pretty powerful. At least until after I might have the ability to go faster. No, wait. I think I get faster if I win this race. This, wasn't that what the other guy said before? So maybe if I attempt it now... Who knows, I might not win. But let's see how I do. Okay, the boomerang can get rid of the snowballs. So I have an effective use against that. Hi. Think you're quick enough to reach the chest before time runs out? Only 10 gold? Yep, sure. God, Zombros. Does it matter what path I take? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, doing pretty well so far. Oh god. Don't get hit too many times, that really slows you down. Oh god, I'm gonna be cutting it close. Oh no, oh, oh, oh! Did he launch me into the chest? Hey! With these shoes, Lily was as fast as a centaur. Oh, I actually have to equip them? And you do like a slashing attack automatically. So this is actually a pretty good pickup. Alright, so you know what? This is a good time to stop here, and in the next part, we will continue on. See you everyone, thanks for watching.